What's going on? What are we doing? Sunderland lost 2-1 at the Bet365 against Stoke City. Alex Neal's side getting all three points again in a game, if I'm being brutally honest, they didn't really deserve it. They, yeah, they got the two goals. The first goal, definitely handball. It's hidden here, which is not a playable part of the body. Therefore, handball and should have been called back. Not sure. The ref might not have been able to see it because he was a couple of yards behind, but the line or should have definitely been able to see that that was control from his hand, irrespective of that goal early doors. Sunderland get the ball back and um, what's it? Bellingham bursting through a number of players. Really good play from, from the young lad. A lot of credit is going to uh, Jack Clark because he scored the goal, but it was <laughs> it was the easiest goal I think he'll ever score. The keeper parries Bellingham shot into that space. Nobody's marking Clark and yeah, game levels up. The rest of the first half, if we're being honest, I guess, was KG, slow, bit lethargic, not in full gear, and it felt a little bit like the Middlesbrough game again, where we just didn't really come out and fire. Um, I'm not sure if it was because we had no strikers on the pitch for that entire first half or or what, but it just seemed like as soon as we got into that final third, there was something missing. And maybe it is that striker scenario, but I don't know. It's not me to, it's not my decision to put six midfielders on and four defenders and no strikers. That's that's all down on to Tony Mowbray. The fact that we didn't change anything at the half time whistle after the two goals had gone in, the rest of the half played out the way it did. There was no sign of us adapting towards this game. If anything, it just determined it just determined the game, basically. The amount of I oh, will just crack on, keep doing it, and something might happen attitude that seems to have come off come off from from us was was kind of abundant. If we're in a game where we're struggling in the first half, we need to come in the second half with a bit more of a game plan other than see how the next 15 minutes go. It doesn't really work. Or maybe it does for most teams, but maybe not Alex Neal's side. He knew that that might be the attitude, I guess, and go guns blazing in those first 15 minutes. If you get something from that, then um, we'll play the rest of the game defensive. And that's kind of what Stoke did. I can't blame the players for doing it, but I can kind of point the finger at in this game is the lack of gumption from the referees and the officials. There was so much time wasting. There was active. The ball was getting kicked away a lot in that second half when they were 2-1 up. Um, <laughs> the funniest one was the previous game against Middlesbrough where Dan Neal got his red card. Their player did the exact same thing. Fell comes in, he starts storming towards the uh, referee and his, his other player cuts in and says, <laughs> don't even bother. So at least Stoke has announced of it, but the referee didn't book him even though it was literally a um, couple yards closer and the exact same action that Dan Neal got the previous week. So that apology that we got about um, how that Berra game was officiated didn't really pan into any kind of change for us. There is a lot of finger pointing towards like the referee not doing those decisions, but the game ended with both teams full of players and might not it should not maybe have been that way, but still eleven very eleven, the game is fair and even and it's down to the players to put the ball in the back of the net. We huffed and we puffed, but we couldn't get the ball in the back of the net come the end of the ninety minutes, and that is purely down to how we set ourselves up. We made changes around the 60-minute mark where we brought on two strikers, Rusin and Bursto, coming on together. And that from that point onwards, we looked really comfortable. Our game plan looked natural. Yeah, we had to take off some of those first-team starters, but those first-team starters may not have been in there if we actually had a little bit more confidence in that we needed to change from that Berra game. So I think a lot of... If you want to point the blame towards somebody on this game for it not going our way, it has to be the gaffer. And I'm not one of these people who likes to point fingers at who's to blame and who's the best in the team and, and what have you. We're a team, we're a collective. But if you want to, <laughs> I guess you need to point that more brain this one. He was too slow at making decisions. The decisions he did make, I think, would have panned out if he made them sooner. It just seems very rigid. We make a substitute on the 60th minute. 
75th minute and the 80th or 85th minute. That's all we ever seem to do in terms of changing up how we um we attack the game. Yes, it's really good with that mentality and that build up going into the game, but whilst you're in it, if stuff doesn't go your way, you should be able to react a lot sooner than saying, Oh, we'll wait another fifteen minutes to see if we can pull another goal back. It doesn't it doesn't work like that. You need to fight the fire before it becomes an absolute <laughs> nightmare to, to come up against. So yeah. Um, did the better team win on this game? Probably not. But did Stoke actually deserve it at the end of the day? Probably. Um, I don't think they're going to have a fantastic season. Don't get me wrong. Like they did beat us and they earned those three points, but it's not going to really mean much for them come the end of the forty uh, sixth game. For us, losing those three points or losing a point from getting a leveler late on, yeah, that's that's not really there. So we just got to look forward to uh, the free hit that's coming up in the midweek against Leicester. I'll be doing another watch along, but if you want to watch my reaction throughout that previous previous game for Stoke, just um, check out my channel. I'll leave a little card thing here or pop it in the description, whichever is easiest. And um, yeah, <laughs> let's let's hope we just improve next time round. Got like I said, we've got a free hit against Leicester because they are the league leaders. They had a really good game today where they um went behind but end up winning 3-1. So like we've just got to play smart in this next game. If we don't do that, um we might start see ourselves slipping down the table even further. Two losses in a row. Let's cut it out like that. Anything a point or more against Leicester is a huge win. So let's remedy it. More break. Come up with something new. Adapt, change, and uh, I think we'll be fine. Also, please just start a striker. That's the bare minimum. Thank you very much. Catch you next time. Bye.